a complex relationship with music. We've been going steady for a long, long time. I would say a good 20 years at least. When I was a little kid, I used to run around restaurants, going up to strangers' tables and singing to them, literally serenading them. My parents let me do this. Why didn't they have some more control over their child? I do not know. But it gave me a taste for performing. And it's not something I get to do very often. Uh, when I was in high school, I was in choir, so I performed at least twice a year more because I was also in drama club and so I had those performances as well. And then we would do gigs, as my choir director called them, where we would go to various places in the city, like the superintendent's office and things like that, and perform for the people in the offices. But once I got to college, it became apparent that if I wanted to make music, I had to do it on my own. So for the most part, I write songs on my own, and then I also work with my friend Justin with our Pacific Nowhere project, which I'll put a link to below if you want to check that out. We've been putting a lot of covers of 60s songs on our webpage, and I've really been enjoying doing that. But we also have some of our own music on there, and we have a MySpace. Do people even do that anymore? But music people, we have MySpaces. So I've been doing that, but I find it's still not enough. I really miss just getting up in front of people and singing. But it's been so long since I've actually done it consistently that every time I have an opportunity to perform, it feels like the first time. My palms start to sweat, and I can't really breathe properly, and I chug water, and then I have to pee, but I can't pee, and then by the time I'm up there, I'm a nervous wreck. But then, once I'm in front of the microphone and looking at the audience and bracing myself for my entrance, everything just fades away, and I'm okay. But the inconsistency really makes every performance a really big deal, because I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to do it is. I'm really looking at this opportunity of post-graduation to sort of reinvest in my musical-ness. I really want to invest in a keyboard. I used to dabble a bit with lay piano. I'm not good at all. I'm actually really terrible. But I feel like it would be really good to get one and play around with it, try to go back and teaching myself some things. But that's my complicated relationship with music. I don't know if we'll ever get back together forever. I can hope. Cross my fingers. I really want to do more musical projects in the future. And that includes on YouTube and also in person. So we'll see what happens. And if you have any suggestions, musical or otherwise, feel free to leave them below. Okay, thank you so much for watching, as always, and I will talk to you later. can't stop sneezing. The weather's been kind of wet and damp, making my sinuses do all sorts of crazy things.